welcome behind the wheel i'm the monday morning racer behind the wheel at southern national just down the road from me about an hour and 40 minutes from roxborough north carolina southeast we got 40 laps in the gearhead coffee street stalker here on our racing and we are green and they are already wrecking just want to survive not gonna lie all right we finally are able to get down to the inside let's see if we can make some progress and stay out of trouble oh we got the three turning up there he's gonna take some cars out oh and we're in it we're in it The big one at Southern National, right there on the front stretch. Hopefully the car isn't too badly damaged. I don't think it hit too hard. Let's pick up the pace and see where everything shaked out. We dropped all the way to 16th, and we are in 14th after all that. Probably a lap down. That's what can happen in short track racing. You've got to be careful here at Southern National coming off the corners, both two and four. You kind of get that classic Bristol rip, whip around where it breaks loose on you. you got to be very careful about it. Oh, they're still wrecking. As my last video, I titled it, Surviving the Attrition. That's what you've got to do. you got to just survive. Survive. Number 11 just about whipped it in front of me. Wow. Demolition Derby on the back stretch. I don't know what lap we're on. I don't know if we're fighting for position. I, I, I don't know anymore. the four and the nine here they're leaders I'm gonna let the one go by too I think they are racing for position they're racing here at the front and they're just trying to get through traffic so we're gonna let them do that we are up to 12th And this lap car will not let the leaders go by. They've got to fight for it. That's ridiculous. Still beating and banging in traffic. Ridiculous. This guy wants to press the issue. Try to make it three wide. We're going to let him go. Just take it, man. the 17's wrecking in front of us. Woo! This one's already been a wild one. We've made it to 10th place. I 
I was just saying before I started this race, I hope it's clean. Well, we got that out of the way. It has not been a clean race. After I said, I hope it's a clean race, it dawned on me. I've been to a lot of short tracks, folks, whether it's dirt, asphalt, since a kid as a race fan, and now in motorsports media filming live races. Yes, if you're catching this, watching me race in iRacing, sim racing, I actually do film live racing. So make sure to check out the rest of the channel because there's racing action from Anderson Motor Speedway, Cherokee Speedway, Carolina Speedway, and plenty, plenty of NHRA action. Anyway, I said to myself, you know, I've seen some crazy things in the real racing world, so all the shenanigans in iRacing, they're really not that far off, folks. We have worked ourselves up to ninth position. And the nine is going to be kind and let us go on by. Messed that entry up really bad. Oh, they're spinning again. I think that was a leader. If that's the case, that's that's sad. That's that's just frustrating. And I think someone's looking for some payback. Not even sure if I can advance my position now. I don't know if I'm on the same lap as the 8th place guy. I don't know where the 8th place guy is. We've got 15 to go. We'll finish where we finish. Just keep trying to lay down good laps and stay in a rhythm and see who else gets wrecked. I have a feeling that I need to look out for a spin ahead of me because of the pack of cars, that black and red car, he's catching up with that pack of cars that he was originally in, and I just have a sneaky suspicion he might be looking for some payback. And overdriving the corners here, oh, it just kills the off. You've got to get in just right. I think I am catching the guy ahead of me in this blue car. Don't know if he's for position or not. We've got eight laps to go. We are gaining, coming to six to go. Five to go now. A 
We are being caught, though. Matter of fact, I looked in my mirror and that should not have raced in my mirror. See if the three can open a way for us and we can get by the dark blue car. I'm not sure who got to the line first. That must not have been for position. Or I didn't get to the line first. Don't know. Wow. Well, let's take a look at the results. Let's see what that looked like from the start through the incidents right now. Green flag did not get a good start kind of glad that's the case though with everything that happened in front of me granted I still get caught up in it come away with a ninth place finish just about started in ninth place this was a wild one so we make one lap no issues if I'm not mistaken coming around to take for the second lap going to the third lap we have the big one on the front stretch. Yep, here it is. And I've got nowhere to go. Pinned down to the inside wall. Just get rammed by the two. Lap down. Everybody's wrecked in the back of the field. And it is just a mess from here on out. Don't know who who's, is on what lap. Don't know who is ahead of me if they're for position or if they're behind me is for position. I'm just going to try to make laps as best as I can. That is not all the excitement, though, in this race. Lap six, riding behind the number 11 Oreo Street Stalker. Those Street Stalkers always look good. The attrition, as you can see, car on its side there on the back stretch here at Southern National. Wild out here in the Street Stock world of the lower classes, rookie and D licenses. The 11 almost cuts back into me. A car does cut in front of me. I've got to put on the binders and go high, and that messes up into turn three and four. Wild out here, folks. Lap 12. Let's take a look at this gaggle of cars. What a mess. The leaders are ahead of me, I assume. The ninth place car is ahead of me, but I don't think he was for position. Here we are, we're all in a line. The number 11 won't let the number 4 go, even though the 11 is a lap down at least. The leader's trying to get by. You've got the number 1 catching the leader, who I think is in second. You've got the 8 trying to catch up with the leaders. He's going to dive to the inside on me after this checkup in front of us. The 9 gets wiped out by the 17. Crazy. Lap 15. We're not done with the craziness. Nope. Going on to the back stretch, the number eight, I think, is a car that's part of the leaders. Well, he gets wiped out along with 11 by the 17. The Hooters sure did flash everybody right there. Lap 37, we're near the end of the race. The number three was faster than me on another lap. I let him go, and I'm thinking to myself, I've been catching the 15. Maybe the three can part the waters, so to speak, and allow me to get closer to the 15 and get under the 15 and make a pass. I have found, after looking at the results, that the 15 actually was on the same lap as me and the car that was the next position. So I'm trying to pass the 15. The door was open, I got underneath him, but he shut the door. White flag right here, trying to work underneath him, trying to come off and get a run. He's gonna go a little high in the three and four. I try to go low. 
It's fairly close at the stripe, but nonetheless could not get it done and finish ninth after a wild 40 laps and getting wrecked in the big one on the front stretch. Almost wrecked at the end of the race. Woo! These street stock streets, they're wild. Folks, until next time, I'm the Monday Morning Racer. God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.